Rick, barriers in our personal professional lives are something that always seem to test our resilience and can lead to that deterioration phase of our model. Sorting out what barriers could be impacting and how to respond to those is more challenging than you might think. Let's consider the example of trying to accomplish a weighty task, like writing or revising a manuscript with a tight deadline when you already have multiple things on your plate. You may be juggling a diversity of responsibilities, familial, relationship, or health issues. Under this scenario, it is easy to feel overwhelmed. That feeling with your example, Robin, is likely about not finding the time or making the time to write. Under this scenario, this overwhelmed feeling is probably coming from all of the competing demands and stressors that get in the way of writing. It can be useful oftentimes to step back a bit and consider your situation. Is it possible to achieve it all? Are your expectations realistic? Where are the expectations coming from? Are there ways to prioritize? Are there things you can let go of or delay a bit? Can you ask for help? And if it is an issue of your productivity, are there things that might help you be more productive during a given semester or quarter, even if you have to take time in the short run? Are there ways to better organize or manage your time? Overcoming barriers may also have to do with reflecting on how you respond to the expectations for your postdoc and how those are aligned with other responsibilities you have. For instance, if you have responsibilities such as caring for small children, think about stepping back and taking stock. What do you want to achieve? Undoubtedly, you want to complete your postdoc successfully and be a good parent. Are you clear what your mentor expects for success? Do you have explicit expectations versus the implicit expectations? What do you expect for success as a parent and as a scholar? Are the expectations clear, realistic, and achievable? And if not, what options do you have to adjust those expectations? After you've considered the expectations, consider the barriers you face. We recommend being explicit and honest in acknowledging the range of barriers that may be impacting your situation. Sometimes stepping back and naming or describing what is challenging us is the first step toward developing solutions. Also, reflection can help identify alternative paths to achieving your objectives or help you prioritize how to spend your time and energy, perhaps uncover unexamined assumptions about the success or identify who might be able to help. Now, reflect on a barrier that you have encountered or are currently encountering that feels out of your control. What are the current steps you have considered or have already tried to address the situation? We will revisit strategies as we move through this module. We encourage you to reflect in the space provided below. So let's consider how reflection can help guide us towards simple, concrete actions that might help us move forward. We have developed three case studies in which fictitious postdocs are facing real-life barriers to their success. Take the case or cases most relevant to your own context and jump into our discussion forums to share and learn from other MOOC participants. And just to be clear, there are no right or wrong answers or solutions to these case studies. We provide them just as a pedagogical tool for you to reflect on strategies these three postdocs might use to address their respective issues and goals, and we hope you find them valuable. Each of these case studies has to do with managing multiple demands with limited time, much like you'll have to do as you transition out of your postdoc position and into a position at an academic institution, an industry, or in a government agency. In these situations, don't forget to consider how you organize your time. For example, what is the first thing that you do when you get to work? Turn on your email and return messages? If you have an important task to accomplish that day, like a manuscript revision, Responding to simple emails may not be the best use of that first hour. Consider selecting not to look at your email until you have spent at least 30 minutes to an hour working on your manuscript revision. And of course, Robin, drinking that first cup of morning coffee. Got to do that. Do the hard stuff when you are most productive. This simple recommendation comes from Robert Boyce's work on quick starters, or those early career faculty members that quickly establish productive programs as faculty members. Try Boyce's recommendation. And as we mentioned earlier, for the cases provided, there's no right or wrong answer. That is often the most challenging part of acknowledging and looking at barriers, not knowing definitively what steps will make a difference and will make situations more manageable. Small, practical steps can make a significant difference in your productivity, happiness, or both. Mm -hmm. Are you facing any barriers at the moment? Identify two or three small actions you can take. Make them small, specific, and actionable. If you have big things on your list, consider breaking them down into small, actionable goals. 
like reading a certain number of articles each week, writing a certain number of pages. Do some free writing for time and don't worry about grammar or organization, just get your ideas down. Or breaking down your research into small achievable steps. Or if you're feeling that you're not productive with the time you have, what small actions might help with that? Consider having lunch with a friend every Friday, having some me time by walking 10 minutes a day, or reading one chapter of a fun book each weekend. Or do you need to set boundaries for yourself on time wasted, on activities like surfing the web, watching YouTube, or texting friends to find out what's going on? But remember, make those boundaries small, concrete, and incremental. We recommend brainstorming two or three actions you can take to address a challenge you are facing. Keep thinking about these actions throughout this module.